Hello and welcome to a new technical video. Today we'll see how to bring some impressive buildings to Dev Studio. I must warn you it requires some computer skills on your part. First, let's get and install Google SketchUp. In Google we type SketchUp, S-K-E-T-C-H-U-P. We click on the first link. We click the Download Google SketchUp button. We click on the Download Google SketchUp 7 button, that one is free. We click the Agree and Download button. Now I trust you, I know you can install it OK, you're done, wow that was fast. We click the Products menu item, then on the 3D Warehouse link. 3D Warehouse is a gigantic collection of 3D objects and buildings. If you intend to use what you download from 3D Warehouse in a commercial or even non-commercial project, it is advisable to check with the creator for licensing and copyright issues. Read the descriptions, sometimes the modelers clearly state that their model is free. We click on the search button. We are looking for a castle, a chateau in French. And we find the Chateau de Sao. We click the download button. We download the SketchUp 6 version. We save it in a new folder named Castle. Here is what SketchUp looks like. We use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. We use the pan tool to pan around. And we use the orbit tool to orbit around. The line tool lets us draw edges. And when the edges are closed, we get a surface. Use the rectangle tool to create rectangular surfaces. And use the offset tool to create an inner frame. And now ladies and germs, the push-pull tool which lets us extrude walls from surfaces. And with rectangle. The push-pull tool lets us create doors using the circle tool and the push-pull tool. We can create round openings. The arc tool, like the line tool lets us create surfaces, which we can then extrude using the push-pull tool. Let's add a huge window. Who knows? Maybe this could become a restaurant in the Biverse. Here is the Move tool which lets you move edges and surfaces. Please note that this is a crash tutorial, we're skipping over a lot. And finally, the Paint tool to add textures to your creations. You can also use your own texture images. We could use SketchUp to add this building to 3D Warehouse or to Google Earth. We will simply save it as a KMZ file. Just like the castle we downloaded earlier. Now my fine feathered friends we need Blender 3D. So we navigate to www.blender.org. We click the Download Now button. First we note that Blender uses Python version 2.6. Then we download the appropriate installer. There's versions for Windows, Linux and Mac. Now if we want a fully functional Blender 3D, we need Python 2.6. So we navigate to www.python.org. We click the Download Python Now link. Download the appropriate installer for your computer. Guess what? Here again I count on you to finish installing Python and Blender. If you encounter problems, look in YouTube. There's tutorials about installing Python and Blender 3D. Do not despair, babies, we're almost there. The castle we saved from 3D Warehouse is named castle.kmz. This file is in fact a zip file. Let's rename it to castle.zip. Then, let's unzip that zip file, right here, right now, together. As you can see it created a folder named, model. Let's look inside. It contains a DAE file, that's a collada file, 
man. Unfortunately, Dev Studio fails to read this Colada file. That's why we spent all that precious time installing Blender. We start Blender. And we do, File, Import, Colado 1.4. Click on, the Browse button, with the little dots. Browse up to the DAE file, then click on the Import DAE button. Click on the Import and Close button. Be patient young grasshopper. Click on your home key, to view it all. Hey, it's the castle. Click on the A key to select everything in the scene. One minute left. Do a file export wavefront obj. Select a destination file and folder and click on the export wavefront button. Here you can see the export options I used. Notably, I want Blender to copy all the texture files. As you can see, Blender saved the obj file and the material files. We're done with Blender. We close it. Bam. We start Dev Studio. And we import our brand new castle.obj. We use custom import settings with a scaling factor of 100%. And there you have it. The castle is in Dev Studio. Our journey ends. The adventure begins. Good luck and happiness.